Okay, we've got the arrow on our mark. Now the technique that we want to use in bending is steady foot pressure all the time. So, we want to put steady pressure on, we'll just start bending our conduit. Now we're not going to get in a hurry, we're just going to work nice and smoothly. And my left hand is here just for balance right now. Let's talk a little bit more about deducts. On half inch conduit, the deduct on a 90 degree angle is 5 inches. On 3 quarter inch conduit, like what we just bent, it is 6 inches. On 1 inch conduit, the deduct for a 90 degree angle is a duct, which is 6 inches. And we subtract that from 10 and get 4. So we mark our pipe at 4 inches, place the arrow mark on 4, make our bend, and our 90 would end up being 10 inches long. So let's do that. Now if we're making an offset, and let's say we're starting from a fixed point, like over here, shrinkage may enter into the picture. Suppose that we're 30 inches away from the fixed point, which is the front edge of this obstacle, which we know is 8 inches deep, which we want to offset over. How do we make this calculation? Okay, here's how. We're going to use a 30 degree angle for this. We have 8 inches of depth. Now on a 30 degree angle, the shrinkage is one quarter of an inch of shrinkage for every inch of depth. So we have 8 inches of depth times one quarter of an inch. That's 8 quarters of an inch, which is 2 inches. So our shrinkage in this case is going to be 2 inches. So let's mark our... Now once again, it's a 30 degree angle. We know by now, we make our bend. So our bender handle is straight up and down. Okay, we line up our pipe. Now I'm going to use the trick again where I start as an air bend, and then I'm just going to flip the conduit over and get it on the floor. And bend.